Hi guys, Spartan765. Today I'm doing a video upon request on how to disassemble and reassemble the Mosin Nagant trigger. Now this is the same for all Mosins, any, anywhere from an M91 all the way up to an M9159. Um, okay, the things you're going to need here, you're going to at least need a flathead screwdriver. I'd recommend, you know, some type of a little punch or something to push a pin out. The pin isn't going to be under any stress anyway. Okay, now the first step is you're going to see a big screw on the top here. You're going to want to take that screw out with the screwdriver. Now, see, stick it in there and twist it out. Now, once you've removed the screw, set it aside. Then next, you can see the little pin right here? Right here. You're going to want to just take your whatever you have to push that out with. Just it's very easy to push out. So you just go like that. Pin comes out, set the pin aside. Then just pull up on the trigger. As you can see up will come the sear and the trigger. Okay. Now a lot of uh, a lot of people don't actually understand how most in the gun trigger works, even though it's one of the most simplest triggers there is for a bolt action rifle out there. Though it may not be the most um, smooth trigger or most accurate trigger, it's certainly simple and isn't going to break. Um, now, this thing in the top here of the of the uh, trigger itself. It's what prevents the bolt from just flying out. That's what catches the bolt. And this little uh, groove right under here, you see, that fits in there and that keeps the bolt from just, you know, coming out. When you pull the bolt back, that's what that's for. And then when you pull the trigger, it pushes that forward so then you can take the bolt out. That's not the part that actually releases the sear. What releases the sear on the trigger is this part right here. This is uh, what releases the cocking piece, I should say. This is the actual sear itself right here. Now when you put the trigger back into the gun, whoop, there we go, Let me just twist it around here. When you pull the trigger, you pull this down and it pulls the sear down, see? Like that. And that's what makes the gun go off. And the cocking piece, the part of the cocking piece that um, the sear sits on is right here. When um, when you pull that down, it releases it and the hammer goes forward. Now, how to put this back together, some people are apparently having trouble with. You know, I'm not going to criticize anybody. Not everybody knows stuff about guns. Um, now, you see the trigger, it looks like this, right? You got the bow right here, the actual trigger is, and then the hump where the pin goes. Now, what you're going to want to do is you can't figure out how to get the uh, sear back in. And this is also the spring, obviously, that, you know, pulls the trigger forward after it's been pulled. You're going to want to stick the sear in like this. See this is the part with the hole and that's the actual sear itself. When the trigger is like this, put it in there like that and then pull down so it's like that. Then take that assembly then simply just set it into the position where it's supposed to be. Then what you can do then is take your pin right here and align the hole where the trigger is. You now push your sear up so it's out of the way. Or here, I'm going to show you an even easier way to do it so those people who just can't figure it out. First, actually, we're going to put it together this way. There's two different ways you can put it together. It doesn't really matter. This is just a slightly easier way. After you got it in there like that, just simply put your put your spring, or put your um, screw back in. It holds the sear in, sear in. Just twist that spring in or twist the screw in. Like this here, get it moderately tight. It doesn't have to be like disgustingly tight, you know, just moderately tight. Then here you got your pin and your trigger. Just, you know, maneuver the trigger around so those holes line up. Put your pin back in right there, see? You may have to jiggle it around a little bit. It'll go right in there, see? Now, some people think it's not normal for their so I've been getting questions asking, is it normal that my Mosin will have trigger slack? Like a slack 
or it jiggles. It just sits there and jiggles when it's you know forward. This one, this particular most, and this is a extra goon converted 9130. This one does not. It all depends on really how they were made. It, it's just some of them are stressed more than others. It's not bad if it has um, trigger slack here. Let me get one time to do. Here I've got a 9130, and as you can clearly see on that 9130, that has some trigger slack. That's 100% normal. There's nothing wrong with the trigger slack. A lot of gun makers will put counter springs in there in order to, you know, make it so there's not any trigger slack. But on this particular Molson, there is none. You know, you may have a Molson, it may have it, it may not. It's normal either way. Just let you guys know that if you're concerned. Um, you guys got any other comments or questions about any type of rifle? Feel free to send me a message. I'll be doing a video series on the uh, Enfield number four Mark One coming up here in about a week. Any comments or questions? Feel free to send me a message. Spartan Seven Six Five out.